there's talks of requiring women to register for selective service. Oh, hells to the nah. Before anyone accuses me of, Oh, I thought you were for equality, Julie. I'm against anyone being forced to sign up for selective service. But men have to, why not women? I know, do away with it completely. If half of the population is oppressed, the solution is not to make everyone oppressed in the name of equality, it's to get rid of the oppression. It pains me to see limited government people justify military drafts. I cannot think of a more big government policy. Selective service is the government saying, we own you, you belong to us. You cannot complain that the government is just too involved in our lives, but then think that it's totally cool for the government to force an unwilling person to risk their lives and fight in a war overseas whenever the government deems necessary. Government, get off my big gulps! Oh, but you can take away my son whenever you want. Notice how I said son and not me because it seems like most people who are pro-selective service have already been aged out of the draft. Now, some people might ask, what happens if the military immediately needs more people to enlist? Well, look at what happened after the attacks on Pearl Harbor and 9-11. In the following days, there were huge lines of people enlisting in the military to protect the homeland. I have no doubt that that would happen today. Also worth noting, due to technology and strategy changes, it's less likely that the U.S. military will need large amount of on-the-ground troops in future wars. Today's military is all-volunteer, which makes for a more reliable and professional force. It should stay that way without forcing people to sign up to be potentially drafted in the future.